Hey guys, welcome to the broadcast of the future. My name is Goldux41, and today, um, don't forget to be a star of your galaxy and light up the, your own galaxy. Um, so today's topic is about Mr. Beast and Jackson the guy. And they're going to have a big fight. Who's going to win? Find out today and find out what's going to happen. I'm here with a special guest. Hey, guys. <laughs> and today, who do you think is going to win the big fight? Is it going to be Jack or is it going to be um, Mr. Beast? I'm thinking like the overall picture here, not just like a small term here. Um, I'm thinking Jack would win overall. Why yeah. do you say that? Well, um, there might be a video that you might show here soon. I don't know. But with kind of what Jack said earlier on what I've seen as well with kind of what Mr. Beast I kind of replied with, I think, on Twitter or so. Um, it's like... Mr. Beast, okay, he is, you know, a big and famous YouTuber. Like, I think we all know who Mr. Beast and Jack are. You should know who they are. You should. Come on. Or we, or we should. I think Mr. Beast, um, most people would know Mr. Beast because he's the one that gives money away. Free money. Exactly. I mean, who would not want to be in a Mr. Beast video? I know. Tell me about it. I would. If I had a choice, I would love <laughs> it to be on Mr. Beast. I mean, same. But, um, that's just in you know, my there's dreams. no true. I mean, I can't control your dreams. <laughs> It'd be <but>. nice. <laughs> oh, it would be. Yeah, it would be nice. It would be nice for me to control your dreams. That, or that'd something. be weird. And that would be on Mr. Say. Mr. Beast video. I meant to say, <laughs> yes, you're gonna control my dreams. Yes, totally. <laughs> Well, yeah, that would be fun and a little bit weird. It'd be really weird. So, uh, anyway. So you think Jack Jacksepticeye is going to win the battle? Uh, Like, overall, yeah. Okay, so here's a clip of a video um, talking about how what Jack is saying. So let's get on to the video. A couple days ago, Tom Simons, AKA Tommy in it, posted a video of him, Jack Septicai, and these two guys who I don't really know, I'm sorry, I'm sure you guys are great, where they all took a lie detector test and grilled each other with questions. And if you somehow don't know who Jack Septicai is, he's like one of the OG YouTubers, at least that's still relevant today. He's a gamer that blew up all the way back in 2013 and he's still hitting numbers to this day. So yeah, you can trust that he's very knowledgeable on the ins and outs of YouTube and he knows his stuff. So when it was his turn to jump in the hot seat, this happened. Now Jack, a completely unrelated question. <laughs> Do you like Mr. Beast? No. Jack. Oh! Do you think Mr. Beast ruined YouTube? Yes. Now, in all honesty, Jack, why? Because it became more about views, money, and popularity than it did about having fun. If he had fun doing those videos, they'd be longer. We'd see the fun. Ooh. Ooh. And if you couldn't tell by the increasingly intense background music, that was a pretty hot take he just said. Because he essentially came at the biggest YouTuber alive in the world today, Mr. Beast. So we are back, you guys. How did you like that video? Um, very interesting, I will say. Um, having the lie detector there, um, and of course Jacksepticeye being there. I mean, that's you know nice to have Jacksepticeye with you guys, but it's like okay, now we are getting the truth behind you know who this person is, possibly. Is he a mean um, person or is he a nice person? Find out too, because I don't know. Uh, so, since... uh, so, go ahead. Sorry. What were you gonna say? Nothing important. <laughs> okay. So we are gonna show you guys a Twitter of uh, what Mr. Beast has to say. So I he thinks that um, Jack the guy thought he was winning YouTube. And we can talk about that. 
So Mr. Reese um, replies, so I ruined YouTube because I did, I did buy a mansion, sports car, and a gesture um, we did of my money into making contact, focus on good and expression, expression kids to help people. If he had fun with the video, it would be longer. What does that even mean, LOL? You think I give every hour of my life for 14 years if I didn't have fun? This clip is... Um, inspiration, difficulty into absolutely... There is so much that I could say, but I would just take, I would just take the punches and be the big man sigh. So, what do you think about that tweet? Ooh, um, anything that stands out to you, or things that would you say that? That's another question. Would you say that? I mean, would I say that necessarily? Since Probably you, not. Since you saw the video of uh, Jack Sky and what he believes that Mr. Boost mm -hmm. ruined YouTube, so. So, what I, if I was Mr. Beast, would I send that tweet out? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Um... I don't think I would necessarily. I would probably, if I did, I would probably phrase it differently, necessarily. Um, because I think at the end there, when he said that you know he would either be taking the punches or um, being like a bigger man here, um, in if I could put that like in my own words, um, I think that is just kind of. Showing, like, his side a little bit, I think, and how he uh, just kind of wants to, you know, fold it a little bit in, like, poker terms. Yeah. And just pretend, like, that never happened, yeah. you know? So, so it's like, is he trying to get away with something, or... Or not, <laughs> kind of, typically. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, do you think Mr. Beast is ruining YouTube or not? And why do you... What's your backup for that thing? Ooh. Um... Uh, let's see. How can I explain this with it making sense? Do you a um, moment? Do a moment for that? Yeah. Can okay. I please? Yep. So basically, I asked you guys on Discord, Twitter, and my main this page. Do you think Mister? I mean, Mister Beast is ruining YouTube, and most people say on Twitter yes. Most people say on YouTube yes. But when I went to Discord, a lot of people say no. So I'm technically getting mixed communication here. So, is it just a certain thing there, or is it actually people are affecting this? Like, I don't know, but I think that in some ways, Mr. Beast is kind of on YouTube because he's not having fun when he's making these videos. Like, he's spending so much money on making good contact. But here's a quick video of um what I'm kinda of get to. So here comes the video. You got your smashes and your college humors. You like gaming, you got your Jack Set the guys and your PewDiePies. You like vlogs, you got your Casey Neistats. You got your unboxing videos, you got your animations, you got your weird cooking shows, you got your reaction videos, and you got your pranks that were actually funny and for the most part not totally sociopathic or stupid. So back in the days they used to have fun. Nowadays like people are just copying Mr. Beast, copying 
people in general sets like if you look at how many videos on youtube there is so many people like last one to leave the circle or last one to leave things like that people are just nowadays are just copying other creators it's sort of like for example like me if i was a creator i don't do something unique like i can do something unique but i'm copying other people back in the days they had no videos whatsoever so jack was right about that um you still have fun with youtube now but now people are so competitive saying oh i want so many views i want so much money i want people to be there and just to stand out a little bit but the thing reality is make your own contact make it fun make it enjoyable like a lot of people are just copying other youtubers or for example like the parity of 20 um 24 hours i bang jumped on the bandwagon and did 24 hours of being a girl for example um other stuff i have jumped on the bandwagon because it's like ooh, cool i can get more views but realistically if you look at the statistics on that it might hurt your channel later down the road but realistically it's good idea to jump on the bandwagon but not copy exactly what the thumbnails exact same things like i know big dog had lots of people on his channel like saying he's copying other thumbnails which he's not and i will make that clear because i know that so and big dog kato um said that he was stealing his thumbnails it's like no you're not so it's like there's a battle between good content or stealing other people's context because they want the views so I think Jack guy is right. But then I also think uh, Mr. Beast has a good point about that too. How he's having fun making them videos because there's something unique, something different. Instead of actually just like playing like rope, like it's okay to copy it, but have a little twist in them instead of actually just like yeah. just a walk gameplay because you want to play it. It's kind of like that. It's like me playing Roblox um, on my gaming channel, which all these things in the description, my Twitter, my it's Discord, and all my social media sites in the description, um, which you guys can check them out. Um, but I believe that both of them are on the right, both of them are on the wrong too, because technically people are stealing Mr. Beast's videos because back in the days, you had the comedy sketches you had the stop motions you don't see that many stop motions from um mr guitar man if you guys don't know mr guitar man check him out too because he did a lot of stop motions and that was something unique something different nowadays like if you look up gaming how many gaming chan like how many games are there like say example if you're doing alphabet oh, mode you have a bunch of youtubers copying exact same game yep. what's different about it what is their different what's different about them the only thing that's different about them is exact same gameplay but on their point of view it's like if you took minecraft story mode and played it you might have a different answer than everyone else For real? and same with like um what's that game called um story play games or whatever you have different stories and different expectations of it because that's your point of view it's like life is strange when i played life is strange i got really weird ending but when jack played it it was a, like his ending so it's a little bit different but when you're playing roblox or if you're playing games like that have a little bit of twist like maybe like have some kind of thing like like a uh, obby every time when you die you have to eat a bean boozle challenge like bean boozle jelly bean 
could be good, could be bad. I'm just throwing that out there, and it's different. It's unique, and people come to it. And same with like all the videos. I don't know how to express this, but basically, just be unique, be different, and also be yourself. Because if you're not yourself, then where are you standing? And、mm-hmm. that is hard for every single person out there, being different. And same with the thumbnails. People can say you stole the thumbnails, but they're different. Exactly. So, anything to add to that you can think of, or anything like that? Well, on、uh, um, I did when you were talking, but I took kind of off that train of thought. Okay.、Cool. Um. So not really right now, but it might later. It's just hard, really, because 2006. I mean, I think 2005. To 2015, people had different contexts between that gap because it's only five years, and people、yeah. did a lot more stuff then. But nowadays, people just want to copy other people's contexts because they want a spin on there too. It's like、True. the mystery button challenge is another one too.、Um, mystery yeah, mystery button、uh, challenge. A lot of people jump on the bang ring about that. Like bigger YouTubers too are copying exact same thing, but it's themselves in the box, not anyone else. And it just—I、yeah. feel like most YouTubers nowadays just copy each other so they can get more famous, more people come to their channel. But realistically, that might hurt their channel a lot. And、yeah. it's people are still having fun making them videos, but are they really having fun? Are they really being serious about this? Are they really truly telling people how it is? Or if people get burned out, would people be honest with that too?、Um, I also watched a recent video on Dan TDM.、Um, he was really upset. With Ellie dying, and、yeah. he had a huge trouble saying what he's gonna say because that's the key. Like when you have people that are burned out or anything like that, you need to give them some space, give them some stuff so they can actually negotiate. When I get but when I got burned out on this channel. I had lots of things going on. Same with nowadays. Like I still post, but I'm going through a time as much as anyone else. But give them time. Give them some space. If they don't post that much, like regular hours that they should, give them some space. Maybe they're going through a time. We don't know. But when the whole concept is, I think both of them are wrong, and. That's just my opinion, and I just feel like Jack's right about like people not having fun anymore, and YouTube's、yeah. supposed to have fun, not just like worry about the fame, worry about people around them. I just sort of weird to hear from that, so I think they are both in the wrong. Like, Mister B should. Say that on Twitter, like I would use a different word, saying, "Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm doing fame, or just be quiet about it and just talk to him personally instead of actually just over Twitter, over things like that, because that's where conflict can come in and make you、Very. people upset about it. It's like if I say something about Big Dog that. He needs to get a light, for example.、Um, okay, well, wow. Using that example, what do you think about that? Like, is that harsh on well, you? Well, ouch. <laughs>、uh, yeah. And that's the thing. Like, if people tell told you, like, "Hey, you stole a video idea of mine." Um. Yeah. No. 
I mean, necessarily, okay, necessarily, I mean, I probably could have, but I do have, like, my own twist and, like, turns on, you know, my stuff that I do, How about but you? it's, like, okay, it's, like, with the uh, thumbnails, for example, um, because I know you uh, brought that up once. I was um, just going to say about the thumbnails, too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but you do that, too. Um... I don't know what video it was on. I think it was on, like, one of my Doors videos that I made on my main channel that I used a thumbnail that Godfall made for me. Um, but I, you know, kind of twisted and turned it a little bit, kind of with the uh, brightness or something. And all of a sudden, okay, now, hey, I'm getting a comment from this person saying that, you know, hey, I stole this thumbnail. Um, hey, can you either prove that from so-and-so's channel, or are you just lying? Or are you just trying to get my attention? And some people do look that as for attention sometimes. Exactly. And let me just actually answer that now. It's like, no, like, I didn't steal the thumbnail. Like, it's been made. I've made, we've actually made sure that these thumbnails were not stolen. These were originally created by either myself or Godful that, you know, we can work on. And it's like, okay, the brightness, that can work, but still. Yeah. You know? And that's the thing. People will just say, oh, you're stealing my thumbnails. And same with Mr. Beast. Like, some one video I have saw that Mr. Beast saying people are stealing his videos, like his thumbnails and if you look at the thumbnails it's not the exact same the background's the same but there's a little bit of difference in it but that's exactly. the thing like make so your own thumbnails really, I mean true but are they kind of really stealing you know his thumbnails like it's really? just the background that's the I thing. mean the background the background might be the same okay fine whatever but you kind of really have to look, like, very specifically at the thumbnail before, you know, you kind of accuse a person of stealing a thumbnail. Yeah. And you have to look at it really closely, too, because sometimes people, you can use a background to just use it. And then just exactly. do like that, too. So, it's a hit and miss with everything. Because if you look at some thumbnails, they're, like, I'm looking at one right now. Um, with the uh, alert and them stuff that, and they just Photoshop their face in the images. So is that stealing? Is that something? No, because you no. actually changed it a little bit to your face. So it's exactly it's a confirmation, and it's just people need to realize that. It's like me, okay, so my one video on my gaming channel, um, if I can pull it up, um, if I can do this, if I can show you. Um, Was it the There Is No Game video, or? There Is No, no, is it There Is No Game? Yeah, There Is No Game one. Um, basically... Um, who was it? Oh, I forget. Dan's brother, no. supposedly. Um, had no. do not buy this game, like that image right there. So I cropped that. And then I add my own green background. I added my warning signs. But if you look at every single detail on there, if I was really getting copyright, if I was getting in trouble by some creator, the thumbnail is one the background i would be stealing someone's background that they already uploaded to google second of all the warning um signs are not my own it's basically an image and then do not buy this game is an image from a youtuber which i just use the image so, and then I had myself in it, but no one can steal that idea because I, no one can steal me 
personally, <laughs> true. No one can steal that. But if you look at that image, I would have got copyright for the background. I would got copyright for the warning signs. I would have got copyright for the letters. I'll be double, like triple whammy in that <laughs> scene. But I did not because I added different text. I did I add different things like that to make it stand out. So is that actually copyright? You know how people say about copyright, about mm -hmm. stealing other people's thumbnails or stealing other things. I personally don't think it's wrong, but if people stole, say example, like if people stole my thumbnails, like I've been working so hard on them, then I'll be upset. It's like, for example, like um, another one is Pajama Sam. I'll be still copyright of all three images because they are all three different images, but I will still be copyright of that. And that's the thing about it. Like you can change, like you can use images that are different, but still mm -hmm. have the same background, same things about it. Exactly. But do not copy someone else's thumbnails. Like, for example, like some of the thumbnails, like you have and you copy exact same thing. And that's, I think that's where Mr. Beast is coming from. Like people are having fun and making him look bad too. Same with advertisements. A lot of advertisements you see that like I've seen a lot of fake advertisements about Mr. Beast. There's one on I found yesterday about on what was it on TikTok about Mr. Beast has his own website and no one knows about it. But then when you go to it, it's like free Roblox, free this stuff. And I mm -hmm. think that's not okay. But it had his voice on it saying, oh, yeah, this is my free website. Because people edit to make it sound like it's actually him. Then he gets in trouble with that. And exactly. I don't think that's right either. Like, I just feel like that's not okay to do like that. So it just, people need to give both of them a break. Like, both of them are not in the right. Both of them are in the wrong, too, at the same time. So, just, I don't know how you elaborate much, really. Like, if somebody, for example, like, my last one on my vlog channel, Grace Loves So Swing, if somebody took that image of Grace, I'd probably be more upset with that. Because it's like, oh, why did they steal it? But then they call the exact same title, everything like that. If they post mm. Grace instead of their own kid, that's not okay. Like people need to work on their thumbnails. So I think they are both in the wrong about that. I think Mr. B should be quiet about it. And if he really wanted to be sneaky, he should have just talked to Jack by himself, just saying, Hey, you heard my feelings. What can I do? It's kind or of vice versa, probably. No. Yeah, vice versa. But if you feel hurt, talk to the person. Like if I hurt Big Dog, for example, I'll come to him and say, "Hey, you hurt my feelings," and do like that instead of actually go on Twitter and just say what Mister B said, like all that stuff. That's yeah. okay. Like saying that oh. I would just take the first punch and be the big old man. That's basically saying I'm going to take the first punch because I'm better than you. In my opinion, it feels like he's saying that I would take the first punch because I'm better than you. Is that, Yeah. it sounds like wrong to me, like that he's just going to do it. He Very, should, yeah. If he's a big old man, he should have said that. Yeah, like that. and he probably, 
I think he probably should have like admitted at that point that like he might have been like in the wrong or something there. Yeah. But Mr. Beast with his like fan base, it's like okay. Um, what would you know his fan base think? You know, his fan base is actually probably with him. But then, if you look at Jack Jacksepticeye, probably he would say that Jack Jacksepticeye was wrong. So you're like having that battle between exactly. the two, and if you're in the middle, you're just in the middle, and you're the uh-huh. outcast. But if you pick one or the other, you will lose. Yep. If you're in the middle, you lose. If you pick Mr. Beast. Definitely, you will lose. If you pick nah. if you high, you will lose. But if you pick both, you will lose either way. So the, it's just a battle. It's just a losing battle. <laughs> yeah, basically. And you shouldn't lose with battles because if you lose battles, all your armor is going to come off. Pretty much. And that's not fun. No. Like, honestly, I'm in the middle. I feel like it's wrong to, like, he has his opinion about Mr. Beast. Yeah, that's fine. But then also Mr. Beast has an opinion about that, too. So, I think it's a hit and miss. Yeah, very. So, who do you think's gonna win? Big Dog? Is it Mr. Uh... Beast? Or Jack Sebekai? Choose wisely. <laughs> um, I'm still thinking that Jack would come out on top, but now with, you know, hearing everything that's kind of being said in between, you know, the two of us, like, I now kind of don't know who to pick, honestly. And another thing, too, here's another point, too. If you add up all the stuff from, um, if you were working with Mr. Beast, for example, too, so you oh, get, I would love that. <laughs> if you get $16 an hour, okay, epic, that mm-hmm. this is just an estimate, times, say, example, you're working six days, okay? Because okay. technically you have to have a day off legally, like in the United States and Canada, wherever you're from. Legally, legally you yes. You have to at least have two or one day off, and it has to be eight hours off. Yep. So you times that by, say, example, you work, there's 24 hours in a day, 24 hours. Um, I thought it was 28 hours in a day. My bad. <laughs> nope, it's 24. That's the two days. <laughs> no, that's not even two oh, yeah. days. 24 <laughs> hours in a day. And then let's yeah, say you work eight hours, okay? So that comes up with $768, okay? Times. Okay. By that, by two weeks, so that's a thousand five hundred and sixty. I mean, thirty six dollars. Okay, mm-hmm. times that by two again, which is three thousand seven hundred twenty two. So. Do we have access to the No, we do. Down there. Um, that's fine. Um, so you're thinking. That's a lot of money for one person. Yeah, because that's just for one person to get. But then if you times that by how many employees should Mr. Beast has? Should? Um, just give <laughs> me a number, random number that you think Mr. Uh, Beast would have. Because you have three, peop- let's say three we- people at the front. Oh, well, yeah, Chandler and uh, what's his name? Um, I'm Chris. And then there's the Mr. Beast Burger that's at least. See that latch right there, Rachel? Yeah, I know, but it's not going to welcome. No, you. 30, maybe 35. And then do like that. I'm just giving you 30 or 35. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. So, what's the number that you wanted done? I was going to be going with 30 or 35. Which one? 30 or 35? Let's go 35. Okay. So you're looking approximately a lot of money. <laughs> like uh, yeah. Over, 
one I mean seven one six eight zero zero. That's how much money that you would have for all the employees that you would have. And that's a lot, uh-huh. really. Like if you figure the math out, that's a lot of money to I, use. When you and have to, a, you know, waste. In ways, yeah. You could cut back on your employees if you really want to. Um, some True. employees might not charge as much, but if you want a fair wage, you want your employees to stay comfortable. Like if I was paying Big Dog, for example, I would be paying good money for that. And it would be decent. It will not be like $5 a day. That's not really I was, Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm doing, you know, what I'm doing for you, and you're just giving me five fucking dollars. And that's the thing. Like, that's not really fair for him. But that's the thing. Like, you have lots of teammates. You have the camera cam- cameraman. You have people involved with your videos. You have yes. people that are behind the scenes, like editing this. Like, for example, like for me, I can cut back on that stuff. Because I don't have to pay for the staff to film it. Because I do all the filming. I do all the editing. I do all the thumbnails. So you're thinking, like, I could technically cut back on some stuff and pay my employees. I can pay for people like that. But you have to think about that, too. Plus, you, if you have people that are there's a lot of people behind the scenes that you don't really see either. Exactly. Like you have, like if you were in a big studio, you would have a set most likely. Like this is not a set. This is just a normal room where I'm filming, but it looks like I'm like, I'm behind a green screen. So I can put anything that is there to look cool. And that's the thing. When you do like that, it's not, it's going to be, fun and i make youtube videos for fun i don't care if i get paid if i get paid awesome um there is some um videos on my channel i actually have sponsorships so that's kind of good like i got free samples of some stuff and there would be more coming soon whenever i get sponsorships and people ask me if i want to have free samples of this product to taste test and I said, sure, let me do it, and I will get your feedback. I'll email them and see what their feedback is first. And then if I don't feel comfortable, I get the free product anyhow, but I don't make a mm-hmm. video. So it's my call, but I feel like Mr. Beast makes way too much. And plus, how many channels does he have? He has probably five channels. Oh. God, because he has his normal Mr. Beast channel. Um, does he have... I think he might... Does he have a live channel? I don't think he has a live channel. I don't think so. I know reaction videos. He does that. Um, he has his own channel, but in Spanish. Yep. And maybe somebody well, else is running that channel, but we don't know that for sure. Um, I'm pretty... Well, I'm pretty sure that it... Uh, was all ran by Mr. Beast in general. Probably. Because I think on uh, one short that I saw, or like a video that I might have saw with Mr. Beast, and he he was on his phone and he you know showed you know how much he got paid off the uh, Mr. Beast um, Spanish okay. channel or whatever. So I have his things come up right now. So he has Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Gaming, Mr. Beast. I mean Beast Reaction. Mr. Beast 2, Mr. Beast Phil, Philly, and then Mr. Beast 3, totally Mr. Not Mr. Beast. And then he has his other channel that no one really knows about, but he hasn't posted anything on there. So you're looking at, he has lots of channels and uh, Mr. Beast um, Spanish one. So you're thinking like he has lots of channels that it's just so much channels that he has. Yes. 
And that's maybe not all of them either. Who knows? There could be hidden ones behind the scenes. Exactly. And but those are probably, these are like the only ones that we kind of know of. Yeah. So. Oh, there's a fetch one too. Oh. Yippee. <laughs> so that's the thing. Like, he has lots of channels. That's six. Like, I don't know. It could be because Jack Subsakai maybe is jealous about some stuff. Maybe. You never know. Possible. But. I think it's both of their faults and I'm not choosing sides because that's just, I think that's not fair to choose sides because I think both of them are on the wrong. So. Yeah. And again, like after hearing you and just kind of what we've been, you know, talking about kind of circling around, like most of the time in this conversation, um, yeah, I'm like with you there. Like, I'm, I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. At this point. So, anything else before we sign out? Not that I have, no. Okay. So, I'm going to go to me. And so, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Um, be, don't forget to be the star of the galaxy and light up. I mean, star of the future and light up your galaxy. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, like, thumbs up for the new background. Thumbs up for the new um, image. Thumbs up for this. Because I really like what you guys' feedback on this. Because it sometimes takes a while to do. Sometimes not. Depends. Um, I just want you guys' feedback. Um, it's pretty cool to see this. It's pretty cool that we can talk about this and talk about how we feel about this battle. And if you guys have any things that you guys want to talk about, leave it down below. Um, and give me your honest opinion. Do you think Mr. Beast is winning YouTube? Yes and no. Um, I love to hear you guys' response. And I'll talk to you guys in the future. And have a good day. Bye.